Hey, what's up, guys? Double Xer again. Glad that you guys could join me back for some more Men of War Assault Squad 2. Of course, we're playing Star Wars Galaxy of War. Um, this week, I will be playing a variety of games. Uh, I plan on also uploading a vlog or perhaps two. It depends on. I will be heading to New York City to see a friend from Sweden who's flying in. So I thought I'd just fly up from Florida and meet him there. Uh, so that should be interesting. But um, other than that, we've got Star Wars Galaxy at War yesterday. Or not yesterday. Oh, well, actually, yesterday I did, in fact, upload uh, some Star Wars Arena. And I think I might actually take that Arena... Um, layout and apply to Red Rising and a bunch of other games too that really work in the the editor. I mean not games, I mean mods, but you know all these mods are so diverse it's like different games really half of the times. But yeah we're gonna be doing like World War 2 Arena, Red Rising Arena, all that stuff. And you hear that TIE Fighter in the background? Yeah this beach assault is not gonna go unsupported of course. Uh, when the Empire is attacking they're bringing the, the whole shebang, the whole orchestra so to speak. Uh, but anyway, we have the Rebels here defending, and I'm excited to be seeing these guys in action. we got two guys here with the classic uh, uh, Rebel main assault rifle there. Kind of looks like an SDG-44. Great model. Really nice. We've got bunkers here with uh, uh, the Mark One sort of auto turret or whatever you want to call it. Uh, got some heavier guns. We've got some bazookers and just a good mix here. And it's a Rebel fortified beach. There we go. Of course, this is the map that is uh, in my map pack. Uh, if you can't run it, you got to go into the mod file and just uh, edit the uh, latest game version to 3.205.2, I think. Could be different, but it depends on what version of Minimal War Souls 2 you're running. Otherwise, it will not run. And back here, there's a small position with a, a turret that has like a forest texture mod, as you can tell. So it's kind of camouflaged to work in a kind of more of a green environment rather than the regular Hoth environment that we've seen it on before, which is, of course... A snowy one and there's some troops back here today we're gonna to be deploying the naval troopers and I'm excited to see these guys in action I'm sorry there's no amphibious vehicles yet for this mod so I simply cannot use any Imperial or Star Wars related vehicles in this but don't worry these 50 caliber machine guns in the back will not be used uh, they will be driven up to the beach and they will remain there they will not be providing 50 caliber support to the enemy or at the enemy rather um, or but not uh, providing support at the enemy is not really how you use that word, but they will not be providing 50, cali 50 caliber support. Blah, 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 blah. I might not even digging myself into that. Uh, you hear that clicking noise in the background? I'm not sure where that comes from. There's it's, there's not a browser in the background. It has nothing to do with Steam. It's just weird. It does that every now and then. I'm pretty sure it shows up on the recording too. Otherwise, it could just be me hearing it here while recording the footage. But uh, yeah, so without further ado, having explained what I plan on uploading this week, look forward to... Uh, at least two more arena videos. One, I'm not sure what to call the series, uh, but one's going to be World War II style with the Rob's mod. Oh, I can't wait. And one's going to be Red Rising. Uh, so I think I'll just call that Red Rising Arena and then like Rob's Realism Mod Arena or something like that. Um, and we'll, we'll just see nations fighting it out. Can you imagine Germany, Russia, uh, the US and the UK fighting it out in a 4v, like a 1v1 free, a 4 four player, 4 nation free for all really, um, should be amazing and Red Rising we could do the same, we could just have all co cool kinds of things in there, I'm super excited, but without further ado let's deploy these guys and uh, let's uh, see where we can go, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in slow motion and then bring up the good old Higgins boats that we're using we've landed these from a galaxy far, far away so this is the first wave of Imperial troops. We have one back here, which is going to be kind of like the Rangers wave at Omaha Beach and Point the Hawk. We've got uh, Storm Commandos uh, from the Storm Commando Navy branch uh, coming up behind us, which I'm super excited for too. Go, go, go! Spread out, spread out. Oh shit, we're taking mortar fire. There's actually Star Wars mortars in this game, which is interesting. Or in this mod, rather. Move, move, move! I'm gonna try and get some people up close and personal. Thank you. 
Look at these naval troopers storming these trenches and barricaded positions. Ten more reinforcements down the beach. Successful landing, my sir. I was thinking of using AT-ATs, but they don't work in water. And, yeah. So, that's how it's going to have to be, I guess. A little, little bummed out about that. We still haven't really secured the beach yet. But we're on our well way. So we're going to start engaging the troopers back here. Which is going to prove troublesome. Let's call in the uh, storm commandos. While our troops are trying to establish a foothold here by the shingle and the bunkers. Fighting the rebel troopers down below. The storm commandos have arrived. We're going to send these guys out at all haste. Don't they look amazing? Storm commandos on the sea. Look at them running up. They're ready for fight. The small mortar position down here is still being used. Storm commandos on the scene. Nice. Our turret is killing us in numbers here. Calling in TIE Fighter support. Yeah, this time it isn't really homemade. This time it's here and it's actually on the field. We're gonna go in front of the stray front soon. It's pretty cool. This is crazy, look at this. Grenade it, grenade it! It's dealt with, amazing. Good landing, gentlemen, good landing. Look at that. For a second there I thought I was really gonna need the Storm Commandos, but then it's like our Regular naval troopers kind of pulled their weight and uh, actually pulled it all together and uh, managed to get up the beach. But let's take a quick look at the casualties here. Oh, wow. Well, there's a lot of yellow um, bodies down on the ground. Yellow highlighted bodies, of course, representing our own. Um, many here in the water. There's probably a good 20, 30 guys spread out. And now there's such a short landing. That is quite a lot of casualties. And we see the red um, cluttered. Uh, defenses here on the beach where the rebels have gone down. And what I don't like is the constant spinning. Like, as soon as you get... I mean, this is beautiful looking. But why are you always spinning? Why are you spinning? I don't get that. Like, what happens if we shoot this guy? Doesn't even have enough firepower to technically take it out. It was cool to call in a... This is a TIE Fighter Advanced. It's like a... It's like special. I haven't really seen this before. It's not a TIE Bomber. It's just... It's got the, the 20 millimeter laser projectile or whatever you want to call it, which is cool. It's a little morale boost and it can definitely take out like lighter things and vehicle, um, lighter vehicles perhaps, but of course infantry, like it did in its strafing runs, which is amazing, but that turret could not be dealt with. So the storm commanders went in and of course took it out with their explosives. Good stuff. Good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon again. Until then, well, you guys enjoy. Bye.